And he swings and lifts one in the air deep to left field. He'll watch it fly. Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena's rise to stardom has been nothing short of astronomical. Exciting for us to see someone make it big time like this. This year's historic postseason helping make Pena a household name. First, with a series clinching 18th inning home run in the ALDS. Came to the 18th inning, I still had it on and was looking for that to happen, so it was pretty exciting. Then on Sunday, being named the ALCS MVP after this game-tying three-run blast against the Yankees. Yeah, I'm a New York Yankees fan, so but if I want to have any team beat, it would be Jeremy's team. When, when he got up and hit the three-run home run, I was like, that's it. This kid's, I, told, I said from the beginning, if we're going to lose, it's going to be because of him. While many know Pena from his time at Classical High School, his former Little League coaches say his baseball journey in the States started right here in Providence at Elmwood Field after moving to Rhode Island from the Dominican Republic. Elmwood Little League's been in existence for 72 years, and he's the very first player to come out of our league to be a professional baseball player in the majors. James Taylor sharing photos of Pena back during his Little League playing days, admitting no one knew just how good he would be, but says he couldn't be prouder. You know, words alone can't express how I feel about being so proud of a kid from Providence who I coached that have you know moved on to the major leagues and did such an ex extraordinary job. And Talon says Pena continues to be humble as can be. You know, we've talked to Jeremy uh, fairly recently, uh, you know, and he doesn't forget where he came from. He, you know, he hasn't let it go to his head, which is really neat.